name is Marina Sivak and I'm the founding director of the Beautiful Stuff Project. I left teaching I started a nonprofit and um, as my nonprofit is called the Neighborhood Children's Foundation um, and as part of that I had this idea that I wanted to start a creative reuse center for public for Somerville teachers and families um, my first job out of college had been at the Children's Museum in Boston and they used to have a recycle center there and so that was my first introduction to it and when I went into classroom when I became a classroom teacher I used recycled materials in so many parts of my classroom and I knew how powerful they could be for kids learning and they're also very cheap. <laughs> um, so I decided to um, just start a small creative reuse center just for Somerville teachers. And I got a spot at the Artisans Asylum in the summer of, I think it was 2015. Um, I got one of their little alcove. I actually bartered with them. Um, I helped them with their educational programs and they gave me a space. And I outreached, I sent hundreds of emails to companies and manufacturers and stores in the metro Boston area to see if I could get excess and scrap materials from them um, and that's how I started and within two months we had grown out of our space in the Artisans Asylum and moved to a space on at 137 Broadway in East Somerville. Um, it began completely as a labor of love. I was I started completely as a way to give back to my community. I had no idea it would grow to what we are today. We're called the Creative Reuse Center. So everything here has been donated. It's all excess or scrap. And it comes from all kinds of places. Um, for example, we get a lot of our scrap wood from PSG Framers that's in um, East Somerville. We get a lot of foam from foam from Rogers Foam in Somerville. We get donations from Michaels in Porter Square. We get donations from artists. Um, we get individuals who had a hobby. We get a lot of, sometimes someone will come in and said, I thought I was gonna be a scrapbooker and I've spent years collecting all these materials and I know I'm never gonna do it. So here, here it is. So our treasure box curriculum has grown like wildflowers. Um, it's like I had start, I just had an idea about five years ago um, that I wanted to be able, because I wanted to be able to bring in materials to classrooms to allow kids to have time to do open-ended play. So I created this idea of these treasure boxes um, because it was a very efficient way to bring materials in for kids to be able to use during the during the school day. So we make, and they all go with the book, we have classroom sets. So I go into a classroom with a tub that's filled with 24 boxes that look like this. And we have all different kinds of sets of boxes. So this is what we call our classic treasure box set and it's filled with a variety of loose parts. But it's not random, it's, each box is curated, knowing what kids naturally do for play, we curate the boxes for success. We are here because the community wants us. I started in one classroom, I didn't know where it was going to go, and we've grown the way we have because of teacher response and teacher ask and kids just loving it. They literally call me the beautiful lady when they see me walking down the hall. I mean it shows how much kids crave being able to play and Classrooms have become, there's a lot expected of kids and teachers during the day in classrooms and so bringing in these treasure boxes is this very efficient, low cost way to give kids an opportunity to be able to just play. Hi, uh, my name is Betsy Martinez and I'm the operations manager here. And that mostly means that I locate donors for materials and 
I schedule pickups for materials and actually wind up delivering them oftentimes. I love the energy here. Uh, when you walk in, there's lots of items that are constantly calling to you and saying, do something with me. My name is Perla Hernandez and I bring the parent-child art-based programs to the school, so I am the facilitator to build workshops. I started doing this about two, almost three years ago because my children wanted to be part of those programs when they were in preschool and kindergarten. So then I just took on and it's been wonderful. I love being with families. It's, this is like the, the most important part for family engagement. The main purpose of it is to have the parent or the caregiver sitting there with their child, just like a free-ended activity, very, very easy, very quick, but the, the important part is for them to be there, to be creative, to spend some quality time together. And it's been wonderful. You see how people is really receiving very well these activities, they love it. The kids expect it every month. The parents are happy to participate as well and we have more and more attendance. For example, the last activity that we have was a spinning top. So what I do is you bring material like CDs, um, clothes, sharpies, and so we ask the child to just use their imagination, decorate the CD, and then once they decorate the CD, you just make the pin to go through. And that's basically what it is, they are quite big. So we've talked a lot about um, things that we, how we bring our materials outside, the outside our storefront and into the public schools. Um, but we also have a lot of stuff going on right in our storefront. We have our open studio that happens on Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays during our open hours. And we have a schedule that on Mondays we always do mosaic, mosaic Mondays. Tuesdays we do tinker boxes, tinker box Tuesday. And Thursdays um, we do our trading cards. And Saturdays is surprise Saturday. So I want to get back to the art trading cards um, because this is something that we also are offering for adults. Many of the things that we do here are for kids, but we've started on Thursday evening offering an adult art trading card meetup where adults can come in and work with our two artists in residence, James Holton Fox and Mike McCaw. And they can, James and Mike set up a buffet of really interesting art materials. And there are plenty of these art trading cards and you can make whatever you want with your art trading cards. Um, and here are some examples of we do collage, we do crayon melting, um, embossing, all kinds of ways to make mini masterpieces with these cards. So come in on a Thursday evening, we're open, we're here, James and Mike are here six to eight, we just ask for a $10 donation and you can create to your heart's content.